on this 50 point inspection i have a collaboration uh this one is between the timber ales out of north haven connecticut and fiden's uh they're like at least close to uh what auburn or whatever it is new york Albany, New York. <laughs> Let's try that one. Um, they may be over the bridge in some other location, but they're pretty close to Albany. Um, so yeah, Biden's pretty much well known for making uh, hazies, New England IPAs, uh, styles of brews. Uh, and this one is called, I assure you, we make stouts. Uh, this is the <laughs> Biden's building, the garage door there. That's the Timber Ales. Guys. Flannel jacket. And this is an Imperial Stout. It's aged on coconut and coffee. And it comes in at 12% ABV. So let's go ahead and uh, crack this one open. It has... Uh, about th a little over three months of uh, age on it. Yeah, I was out uh, cleaning up the yard. It's uh, like third day of spring at this point, and uh, yeah, so just doing some yard work. So my arm's a little shaky there <laughs> from lifting stuff um but this thing pours a pretty tight frothy mocha to a nice kind of mid-range chocolatey color uh is leaving some nice chocolate lacing uh the beer color itself we'll just call it black and uh yeah let's get some aromas all right so kind of a light uh chocolate and raisin type note from afar a little bit vanilla like coffee is definitely in there I'm getting uh, some berry notes uh, kind of hard to say that I'm picking out coconut at this point but I can kind of see something that smells a little bit like a Mounds bar it's probably more just the chocolate oh yeah so, yeah, there's kind of this uh, coconutty, vanilla type nose you get down there. Lots of chocolate. Um, coffee's coming through with some berry notes still. A little bit raisin esque. Uh, maybe a touch. A touch of leather could be in this one for the flavor. So, it's got some pretty uh, decadent uh, aromas to it. And. Uh, <laughs> I've said it before. <laughs> you really can't smell thickness or thinness, but just the the kind of way that this one has the kind of the sweeter tones to it. Uh, it smells like it's gonna be thick. <laughs> All right, cheers. And it is thick. It's a very full body to this one it's thick it's creamy carbonation is uh in the medium realm uh, kind of bursting through like a syrupy mouthfeel there's lots of chocolate notes in this chocolate galore 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 yeah uh Coffee notes, you get a little bit of this kind of coffee bean uh, flavor, but there's a uh, thing that kind of, it's kind of given off some like berry. There's raisin notes in this, berry notes. Alcohol at 12%. Uh, I would say there's a touch, just a touch of an alcoholic note, uh, kind of on the mid back end of this. 
uh, it definitely does have a warming to the throat. So alcohol is present, but it's not uh, it's not like highly detectable and, and ruining any flavors. A little bit of a of a grainy kind of nuttiness uh, coming through on the finish as I drink it as I've been talking. Starting to starting to nose that and nose. Starting to notice that. Uh, yeah, I think at this point, I'm ready to go ahead and throw down a score. Okay, I am back with my score, but first let's look at Untapped. It says this Imperial Stout was brewed in collaboration with our friends from Fines Brewing and treated with Swiss chocolate almond coffee. So, nuttiness I picked up. There you go. And I almost said Almond Joy. So I went with mounds on the smell. But, uh, and toasted coconut. So, um, out of 1,970 ratings, this beer averages out at a 4.37 out of 5, which on my scale would give this a very good. Uh, so let me... switch hands here and uh, I gave this an appearance of six out of six for the aromatics that was pretty good picking up a lot of stuff had a good distance on it too nine out of ten for the flavors uh, yeah, it is it is kind of a, uh, a thicker kind of slightly on the sweeter side uh, it does have a kind of bittering finish when you get to some of that grain nutty note and stuff like that plus the kind of darker chocolate uh, and coffee but uh, I'm going to give it a 14.5 out of 19 and for the body I give it a 5 out of 5 my overall on this one I was at an 8 out of 10 uh, I think this is definitely one to probably share with somebody uh, or you can drink it alone it's just pretty filling. Uh, so, for the Fidens collaboration there with the Timber Ales, uh, I assure you we make stouts. It's going to get a bumpy 42.5 out of 50, which is going to land this as a very good beer. Just want to say cheers. Thank you all for watching.